Folks, we're back, we're cooking, and we're cooking Christmas dinner. Can you believe it's time for that already? Back by popular demand, right here on my deck on Home and Garden. Folks, I don't know. Thanks for coming. I guess somebody liked my cook show last time because it was more popular than I thought. I was just sharing a recipe and it seemed to be a pretty good hit. So I want to share my Christmas turkey dinner with you and all the fixings. Right here, let's get going. Now, you know, it's four or five days to thaw your turkey in the fridge if you bought it frozen. This is a wonderful turkey we always get from Publix. They, nobody can beat the price for what you get. So let's open her up. I like scissors, that way you're not hurting any of the meat on the bird. cold water. Next, I want to take this carry thing and tie out of here. Of course, it's plastic and you got to get at that bird. Okay, I want the giblets and they are going to go in the gravy. Everybody's different on those. Some give them a toss in the, in the trash can. But I gotta tell you, the ones that I like. Now the the gizzard, forget it. You're lucky if the dog will eat it, even after you cook it. So that I don't mess with. We want to get that bag of goodies. Okay, there it is. The neck. Still working. Last bit of ice. And I will remove that tail junction right there. Sometimes they cheat you on the giblets from time to time. This is perfect, just what I love. The liver, maybe some of you agree. Now the neck I'm going to throw in there, absolutely, that'll help with the gravy. We're just rinsing our bird now. Man, and this is a 15 pound bird, plenty for who's going to be here. We usually have 17 and you know with different things going on we're only having 12 this year for Christmas. Wonderful. Now I'm going to Look at that liver. Don't you love chicken livers or bird liver? Oh, I can't do, uh, I don't care for beef liver. I know a lot of people like it. You start drifting there with some of them parts and pieces. I can't, I can't do it. We got our start on our bird. We're gonna take it. and oil, vegetable oil, the whole top. This is important and it's one of my secrets. I'm sure it's not new to people. Some people 
tuck butter in under the skin and get a big syringe and inject it and this and that. And <laughs> this, my method works. The biggest part of my method, now I'm gonna cook this turkey for four hours, but the biggest, most important part of my method is this coming up right now. I put a three quarter of a cup of water in the pan. I'm gonna tent the bird for three hours. Okay, at 350. Now why 350 is I'm having other dishes in there. I'm not running the stove for two days or all day. It's all gonna get done at the same time. We're doing a, I'm doing a uh, scale of potatoes and uh, butternut squash at the same time. So that's why 350 and we're gonna check it at four hours, okay? But at three hours, I'm gonna take the foil tent off. That keeps this moist, okay? In fact, I'm gonna cover the end a bit. One more piece, that could have been longer, so. I know there's a lot of different gimmicks and deep frying and first of all if you don't know what you're doing the deep frying is really unsafe okay and the oil costs what now twenty dollars <laughs> what a joke they can have it i know a lot of you like it now i almost missed my celery or parsley we're gonna parsley flake that Okay, put our tent back, and this is going in the oven. Okay, now we have three other dishes that I want to do for you. I've got, let's do the simplest one first. I got the green bean casserole. A lot of you know it, but I'm gonna take a family size mushroom soup because I'm gonna use this for two of the dishes in the mixing bowl. Now I want only half a can of water. If you were making soup, you would use a whole can, just under a half of water. Okay, and I'm gonna mix that. I'm gonna take some real cream and I'm gonna do just about a quarter cup. Looking good. Ooh. Look at this sauce. So your family size, mushroom, cream of mushroom. And if you don't like mushrooms that are really good for you, there's something wrong with you. You better go get it checked. <laughs> Sorry. You could supplement it. You know, people that can't do a mushroom, you could supplement it with a different cream sauce, of course. Cream of potato, cream of celery, something like that. We're not wimping out here like that. Now I'm going to take three cans of green beans and drain them. I don't want any of that liquid. None. Into the baking dish. And by the way, while we're working, this dish is not going in the oven with the rest of the stuff that takes hours. <laughs> okay. The uh, green bean casserole only takes, you know, this, it takes uh, tw probably 20 minutes. 
in the oven. Okay, look at this wonderful mixture. Now, we're gonna pour it over. Let me get in the camera. Some of our mixture, not even half, okay, over the green beans casserole. Look at this. I know you're drooling already. You have to be, I am. <laughs> this isn't even cooked yet. Okay, save most of it for our scallop potato dish. Next, we're gonna have some real butter cut in little pits. Probably four of those. All right, evenly around the top. Here's the secret weapon, one of them. Italian breadcrumbs. Lightly, just top coat them so we get a little crust. Okay, whoops. Hate to put too much on and really like them. <laughs> Here's the real secret weapon now. Flax seed is going to give it a little nutty edge and it's a good replacement for nuts that are expensive and it's so good for you, okay? And it's not a lot, probably a teaspoon across that whole thing. Now that's done. Okay guys, now I put stretch film over the green bean casserole and it's going in the refrigerator. Now we've rinsed our red Pontiac potatoes. Big favorite around this house. Let's get them over here and going. Here's our Pyrex pan. And we're gonna put a little olive oil in the bottom, maybe a tablespoon or so, or a half, table and a half. Okay, this goes quick. I love to cut them, keep your fingers back. Nice and thin, don't be in a hurry, it's not worth getting cut. We love these, and as you know, the skin is so tender, it melts in your mouth almost, you don't have to take it off. So certain dishes I want the red potatoes. You know why, and they're good. Look at that, you just didn't know you were gonna get all this entertainment today. Where you're gonna go, guys? Nice that I had the parsley left out. Okay, parsley. <laughs> we use a lot of it here, and I want a little garlic salt. Just a smidgen. Okay, now, in between layers, got all our potatoes cut, and that was about eight good sized potatoes. In between, we're putting some of our cream sauce, okay? A little salt and pepper, and the parsley and the garlic. Now we're gonna finish this off. Look how nice, hand done. I don't know, everybody seems to need a processor and I don't. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Personally, I can do everything by hand and in the same amount of time, by the time you get that out and goodness sake, clean it. I don't want to clean it. I'm going to help spread that a bit. Almost the same idea with the butter and the topping. We're going to cut some Pats, 
Get them in. Real important to bake this dish with the butter to get that smooth, incredible, lip-smacking good. <laughs> People are looking for more, okay? And again, we're going to go with just the dusting of the Italian breadcrumbs to give it, help give it a nice crust. See this? The I, they'd be lucky if there's a quarter cup there. We're skipping the flax seed on this. Okay, liking that. Garlic. Look at that. Oh goodness, I can, my stomach's growling now. So we got our butter, just the light salting and a little pepper so they know where they were when they ate it. <laughs> okay, now this is a, another long awaited dish around this house, your butternut squash. If you guys saw the last cook show, you saw the acorn squash, which, you know, everybody's crazy about. But this squash, oh man. This is how I like to handle it. This is a big size one, and there's three good sections coming off of there. I'm gonna cut them and then cut them and again. This is the neck, if you will. And we're gonna probably get one more. And then we're gonna hit the seeds. We're gonna cut that again. And again. Now, I don't know about you, but I like a tidy kitchen. And as I work, things get rinsed and cleaned and wiped. So, what's the big deal? What's, what's the difference? Well, it's not a giant mess at the end. And you know what that does? When you're looking at that giant mess at the end, it just psychologically, it makes you not want to do it. And I think that's what happens to a lot of our folks. Now I'm taking my ice cream scoop, not one with the clicker on the side, you know, the windshield wiper, the the straight up one, the, the more simple one. And we'll work that magic, getting all the seeds out of there. Toot sweet, it takes almost nothing. And we're gonna get our dish over here. A baking dish. And I knew that was gonna be busy. See what we gotta do. And we're going to drizzle a little olive oil. over that. Now this one was so big. Look at this thing. Amazing. Not everybody wants it because there's something wrong with them. I told them, go have your head examined because there's something wrong with you. And then we're going to take our brown sugar and do a light dusting. Whoops, there you go. There's the light dusting. Oh my goodness. Okay, now we've foil tapped our squash dish. All right. Then, if you're like me, I'm gonna run out of room in the oven. We're gonna 
cook these other pieces individually. Like this. One each. Okay, here's something I wanted to do. Nutmeg. Just a sneeze. Okay. Just a little sneeze. Okay, wonderful. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can smell it already. It's not even cooked. Fold them up into a little party pack. So this is the crazy part for me. There's like a four hour gap for filming and showing you the end result. Somewhere around an hour and a half, I'll be taking the squash and the scallop potato dish out. And I'm gonna finish cleaning up, but look, look at this. Look at this kitchen. You see, everything's rinsed. No big mess. I put everything away and wiped the counter. Not bad. Okay, guys. Everything has come along nice. Angela has made the gravy and the stuffing. And that'll stay here and we do a buffet style on the, I keep a hot pad on the whole island. Now we gotta reveal everything to you that's done. Here is the scallop potatoes. Okay, the squash. The green bean cast rolls in the oven and it's ready to come out. And the turkey. Ready to come out. Look at this, guys. <laughs> Look at the color. See, so I've got to slice the cranberry sauce. We like both. We like the jellied and the whole cranberry. We usually don't get both, but Man, who doesn't like a cranberry salad too as well, right? We'll leave the cranberry sauce here, the stuffing here. Just get it so you can, I don't want to put it in an open dish because it'll get cold. So here's that, look at how pretty. There's that stuffing. Keep the lid on. And the gravy's there, the extra squash is here, the green bean casserole, right there. And I'm gonna need a serving spoon for that. Now I'm gonna take you and show you all around.
They paint this town in colors But they hold nothing next to you Cause you're shining like no other Wrapped in paper No, I don't long For gifts to go But I'll be home for you Now folks, if you liked our cook show today, give us a like, a share, a comment. Send a bag of red potatoes over. <laughs> Corn, green beans, and we'll see you soon in the next amazing, over the top Christmas decor video. Take care now. I got this song stuck in my head. Dashing through the snow. Taters from Idaho, Grandma's infected toe, I don't have to mow, why do we love Christmas? <laughs> That's the song. <laughs>